It's art time, Sparky. Any artists in chat? All right, so quarantine <laughs> it started off positive. Uh, and then it just got worse and worse. That whole year was garbage. One of the major reasons I was able to get through all that uh, horribleness <laughs> was through the power of art. So I have them here and I'm gonna go through them. It's hard to finish sketchbooks sometimes. There's some like sketchbook artists that are just so good at filling sketchbooks and then there's me who starts a sketchbook, does about 10 drawings and then I'm like, okay, I'll put this down for 10 months and then I'll buy a new one and then rinse and repeat. But I got this one for traveling last year which obviously didn't happen. And then when I wanted to torch myself, I had this brown book. And then towards the end of the year, I got this book, which is a mixed media, an A4 mixed media sketchbook, um, actually meant for CXE students. Um, and I was like, I'm gonna buy that because <laughs> it's nice. Um, oh, oh. So this is before shit hit the fan. This is just a sketch I did of um, Folkestone Marine Park. I don't know why I chose to do architecture of all things because I suck at like perspective and stuff but you know if you don't practice then you won't get anywhere so I thought I could try. March rolled around and I made one of my favorite paintings ever. <laughs> I'm so happy with it. My boy! Like half the time I painted this in my bed and then I moved onto like an actual desk to finish it up. I didn't think I could paint fur so I'm really happy with how this turned out. I don't do every strand, I just look at it in terms of shadow and light. Um, so like blocks of color rather than like line, if that makes any sense. It's hard to explain. <laughs> For some reason, I wanted to work on like one line drawings, so I have this one. These are all gin. <laughs> I'm really proud of the bottom one. I feel like that actually does look kind of like him. Oh, the best part about the best part about lockdown. <laughs> this sounds like a weird thing to say. Um, was when I went on Zoom with my friends and we had like art days, which I highly recommend. Um, we would get like a prompt prompt generator. If I can find it, I'll put it in the description because it's a really good pastime. And if, once you're like hanging out with your friends and stuff and you're creating something like this, and for me using colors that I really love, it's just such a good experience and it's really good at distracting you from what's going on so you actually like create some happy times. This was a magic shop with a wide selection of cursed items. And this is what I interpreted that as. This painting, I'm so happy with. I don't know why. Jin is just a nice person to draw. <laughs> yeah. The, let me show you. <laughs> I love the colors in this. It was one of those things where I just kind of like mindlessly did it. I was like, okay, I'm gonna draw a person today. What person should I draw? Okay, Jin. Picture. Just, it was just like, very uh, autopilot sort of drawing until I started to like put in some details and stuff and I added like colors that weren't actually there in the picture or probably would be there if you turned up the saturation to all. I'm gonna, I really want to make some more pieces that look like this in this style. It's just gouache and um, colored pencil. This is another one that I really like because it's very my style, which is like hot, pretty, bright colors. And then, <laughs> this will put everything in perspective. Uh, this is a uh, tiger, Tiger King, remember that? <laughs> I only laugh because the people in the show are entertaining. They behave like cartoon characters and they're not. And that, then when you start to think about that, that's what makes it kind of scary. Like, these aren't cartoon characters, these are real people doing really bad things. Um, this is like a moleskin mixed media slash watercolor paper. If I can find um, the exact order, I'll just put that in the description as well because I highly recommend this. And the size is perfect. It's um, an A5. A5. 
head size. <laughs> the first drawing was heavy. These are all life sketches. I think as you can tell, they're not finished. They're scratchy, but I love I love unfinished sketches. I think there's a, something beautiful about them. Just a lot of dog things. When I'm not like doing a lot, you can tell because I just post a lot of pictures of my dog. Or alternatively, when I'm doing too much, I, I show a lot of dog content. <laughs> maybe, maybe I just show my dogs to people all the time, regardless of whether I'm busy or not. <laughs> this is another art night haunt. spread. And the couch, oh my god, at the beginning of April going into May, it gets so hot in Barbados and we had a terrible trip. Like it didn't rain for so long and it got to the point where the grass wasn't even brown, it was just grey, like everything had died. When it gets dry, they're like pods and the the like shards of, of it like drift into the air and um, when they stick in you, it like burns. This spread is just a mess. I think oh, this is gonna make you laugh. I think I tried to draw Taeyang, but it ended up looking like Chris Jenner. So that's not even funny. That's terrifying. I think from then I was like, I'm gonna take a break from drawing BTS. This sketchbook was meant for um, my upcoming trip, and because I was like mourning my dead travel plans, I drew one of the outfits that I really wanted to wear there. Um, yeah. Looks for Penny. Penny looking cute and funky. More outfit pics. I think I had the sort of vision that I would fill my Instagram feed with paintings of my outfits because sometimes I'm like, ooh, I'm kind of proud of them. I think they look kind of cool. I think they look kind of artsy and quirky. Um, <laughs> but that didn't stick. I didn't stick to that one. Pretty little round boy. I think I just decided I would draw a bird, so. Oh, the six fan arts challenge. Does anyone remember that? That was something. Beast Boy. My most liked post of last year, which I don't, I'm not even like the biggest fan of this. I, I used um, one of the guys from that werewolf show. What's it called? Something Boys. Teen, teen Wolf. Okay, so I used one of the one of characters from Teen Wolf as a reference because I thought like if beef, if beef, if beef, oh, if Beast Boy was a like a real person, he would probably look like that. Um, and this was my most liked post, and I was like, why? And I also did Zuko for that, but I never posted it because originally it came out really weird, um, and I fixed it, and then never posted it because the six fan arts thing was like over. Ooh, all right. So I. I was going through this like really insecure phase with my face specifically and stuff and I was like, oh, I feel bad, I feel like terrible. <laughs> so I thought I would art it out. They're both called um, In The Mirrors, so that's that spread. Um, kind of, you know, it's not really that deep, it's just like how I see myself um, and I'm pretty sure the one line thing had relevance as well, but sitting down, I can't really remember what the relevance was. It's a me. <laughs> That's fun. Um, I think I did draw this using a mirror, um, but I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> but I used glitter. I was um, inspired by the Studio Killers characters. I think they're. Very cool. And when I was making this, like, I just remember art school for CXE, so I was like 16, and like the art teacher being like, stop making everything so pretty, and prettiness doesn't really contribute anything to like the meaning of it. And I'm like, are you saying ugly art is the only art that is meaningful? Like, I think art can be meaningful and pretty at the same time. I'm gonna try and incorporate more, like, um, typically crafty things into my art like glitter that could be quite cool and fun and then i'll just enjoy looking at it as well personally my art is taking a kind of like a fine art turn anyway so i want to make it more expressive uh so 
let's just see where it goes. I'm not gonna focus on where should I go too much. I'll just be like, I'm just going. If you want to see how dry it got, this is like the dryness. At that time, we had 16 tortoises. We had that water dish out so that they can live. Um, and every time we moved the water dish, directly underneath it was like bright green. So it was like several bright green circles dotted all over the lawn. Usually I'm not that fond of like of unsaturated looking paintings. Um, so I think what saves this for me is the pop of color. Um, not something I usually do, but I like to practice and try different things. Obviously, you know, my art works. Just like, looks like different people made it. A leaf. The funny thing about dry season in Barbados is that it kind of looks, looks, not feels, looks like autumn overseas. So all the leaves turn brown because there's no water and um, they fall off the trees. So quite a lot of trees just go straight bare. <laughs> so that's what was happening. All of our trees outside turned orange and lost their leaves until the rain came back. This isn't that exciting. It was just feelings. Outfit pick. Another self-portrait. And I think I have, okay, then I have another. I love when sketchbooks are just filled with stuff. Like it's super cool. I like to think of how it'll look in like 40 years when people like are like uncover them from like a dust box and they're like a sketchbook that's just bursting with stuff and there's like holes in it and shit. I love that. Me and my dad um, decided we would go and paint the scenery from from life, from observation. <laughs> I don't really gravitate towards doing scenic paintings only because I feel like I'm bad at them. But literally as of this year, 2021, I've done a ton of scenic paintings digitally that I really, really like. Um, so I take that back. I think I am okay at doing scenic paintings. I just think that in order for me to build up my confidence, I needed to use um, a digital medium because um, that's quite forgiving. You know, if you mess up on a color, um, you can very easily replace it without having to just redo the whole thing. And then it just, since it's already quite a difficult process, it's like, oh, I have to redo this again. Like, you know, so doing it digital, I think was a really good idea. And this is an Anoli lizard, I think that's the name of it. They're beautiful. There are a ton of bugs in my room. I think my next like art series is going to just be bugs that are in my room. So this next spread, <laughs> It's my biggest insecurity, so <laughs> that's all you're gonna see. There was these Caribbean birds people holding a webinar on the 29th of April, and they were teaching people how to draw hummingbirds. Hummingbirds. I think I was just like, hey, if I want to draw some eyes, I want to like go back to my 14 year old self and just doodle eyes in my book, so that's what I did. Glitter. Um. <laughs> I swear I'm gonna make some penny t shirts or penny stickers, penny everything. I'm just gonna make my dog into like some merch. Oh, she's on my bed. She was just so excited to go on walks. We took the dogs on a lot of walks during lockdown and they, they loved it, obviously. I mean, the dogs didn't know what was going on, so to them it was just like. Oh my gosh, my favorite people in the home all the time. Here's Penny again. <laughs> this one, I have this, um, I have this holographic tape, which I'm actually running out of, but I'm really sad. I mean, this holographic is like my brand. I mean, I love holographic things. Irrelevant. Here's a picture of Penny. <laughs> Penny sleeping. I th Do I need to show people every picture of Penny that I draw? There she is again. <laughs> oh, I spend a lot of time talking to my friends, voice calls, chatting with them and stuff, checking up on people. 
And then the good thing about checking up on your friends is that you get to talk to your friends so then you feel better as well. And it's just like, it's a good time. Um, call your friends. Don't think, oh, well, you know what? I, I called them like three weeks ago. I shouldn't call them again because I don't want to be annoying. Shut up, you're not annoying. And you should call your friends because I'm sure your friends love hearing from you as well because they're your friends. Here is <laughs> a picture of my friend's boyfriend who got a hilarious sunburn because he was wearing an open shirt at a festival. Oh wow, so June is when things started to feel, started to feel kind of safe again. That leads me on to our, like my first people gathering. It was just one, two, three, four, five of us. And this is them. This is called playing boomer card games with the lads. I don't know if it's creepy to draw YouTubers, but um, here's Charlie. <laughs> Here he is. Doesn't look like him because it's just like a, a really shitty sketch. Here he is. And that was the time where uh, Among Us started to take off. So I think I drew this. This is September, um, the end of September. I'm sure Among Us got big before that, but I think September was when I played it for the first time myself. So to commemorate that moment, I drew little something something. I love this one. So I thought to myself like why don't I draw in the colors that I like? Like what's wrong with me? I should draw more things in my favorite colors. So and then I was like what's my favorite thing to draw? And then I was like my dog. So um, out of that thought process was born this. There she is. <laughs> it's my dog. We in October now. October? first was my last drawing in this book. I tried to take part in Halloween, but um, by then work had gone back to normal. I'm very, very grateful. And I only have a couple things from this A4 sketchbook. So here is a self-portrait. It's a me. I'm not really happy with this one. I'm happy with the eyes. Um, but I just find it looks a little bit too weird. I found this like love of sea turtles, so I was drawing a lot of sea turtles. And I really like this one. Um, I bought some really cheap um, wax pastels that I was trying to work with. It started to go really badly and then I fixed it and I can't remember how. This is more turtle stuff from August. We watched Hawksville hatchlings emerge from their nest. Um, on a beach and it was it was magical and beautiful um, and we had to call the turtle hotline to come and collect the babies um, where they would release them at night because it was a daytime emergence which is not good for them um, because they could get eaten by predators and stuff. Um, there's more reasons but this is not a turtle video. <laughs> Here is Charles. I think if I hold it from this angle it kind of looks like him because I drew it at an angle um uh so yeah i still don't really think that it looks like him um i definitely got some proportions wrong i don't really feel any particular way about it to be honest he's one of my favorite youtubers though so that's why i draw him quite a lot he's a fish 2020 was a time for getting into um the fish youtube community that's a thing <laughs> and that's it because my next page was is 2021 drawings 2021 will be different i hope you have a lovely day and a lovely week and a lovely month um i hope that you just you know keep hanging on and um appreciate every moment of peace that you have um and really work hard to find the good moments through all these times because I know it's just been really difficult for everybody. Um, so yeah, hopefully I will do another video soon. I have so many planned. I have about 15 that I could film. Um, I'm probably not going to film another one today, but...